Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. If you remember me talking in the previous video, I was talking about the the colony that had to land workers. Uh, it, it failed to make a queen. It's one of the splits where I put in a queen cell. Um, something can, can always happen to that returning queen. She'll sometimes not show up at all. She'll, she'll not come back. She'll get... Uh, Something will get her, uh, dragonflies, purple martins. I mean, the list goes on and on, things that could get her. So, anyway, whatever the case may be, she didn't return. And what the colony did was create, uh, and you, you never know how many land workers they are, but they pretty much took over the colony. So, one way, that you can fix it. Now, this is how I do. Now, I know a lot of people will come up and say, I got a simpler way. This is how I do it. Well, that's fine. You know, everyone's in beekeeping. Everyone's got their different techniques of how they do things. And uh, if you find something that works for you, stick with it. By all means, stick with it. But this is what I do. This is just my technique. So what I do Okay, it, it was a split that had uh, two frames, two frames of bees, and end up having the land workers. So, so what I did was I just overwhelmed the hive with numbers from another colony and a queen cell to give it another start. Uh, a queen cell that was pretty close to hatching. If it didn't hatch that day, it probably hatched the next day. So, so the question is, who will influence who? Well, will it be the smaller colony that had to lay in workers? Or will it be the, the, the larger amount of bees from another colony that I used to overwhelm the numbers? And let's see what happened, okay. Now it, it, it may not have took, and but it usually does for me. It usually works for me. Um, pulled out the first frame there, and I didn't see any land workers in that, any uh, any evidence of land workers. There was a very large number of drones in here before. Now what I'm looking for, even if I don't find the queen, I'm looking for a good pattern of a laying queen and not a laying worker workers so if if it still had laying workers you would see multiple eggs on the side it's just very ununiform they don't know how to properly lay eggs and they're infertile anyway they'll just there'll be nothing but drones so I'm seeing a few single eggs in the colony. Not seeing the queen yet, but so far it's looking good. Seeing some mature larvae. And you may see her before I do. We may not see her at all, but if you, if we don't see a lot of ununiform amount of eggs to show sign of laying worker, then we're nowhere in pretty good shape. And then if we see the the single egg in the bottom, like it's supposed to, then you know you got a queen in there that's laying somewhere. Now we're getting more towards the middle here. Okay, it's looking very good. Hopefully it'll show up, I don't know. But right there in the bottom of the cells is single eggs. Let's see if we can blow them out of the way. Right there in the center. I'm hoping it shows up. It's hard to tell. But there's single eggs in there and 
it looks very good so far so good so it's looking like we got a a queen in there now like I said look here there was the queen cells right there I just what I did I just found a frame that had some uh, queen cells on it and I just dropped it down in there it actually had uh, two or three or four five let's say had one two so far I've counted five on there and give us multiple queens that uh, of course one of them live uh, so far so good I'm not seeing the queen but I'm seeing proof that she's in there with the eggs so and I'm not seeing any sign of the lane workers now the technique works very good with splits uh, because you, it doesn't take a whole lot of frames to overwhelm your small split. Now, if you have a large colony, it could be more difficult. You know, if you have a large colony, colony that, that lost her queen, that's why it's very important to keep a check on your bees. Uh, your large colonies make sure your queen's in there check for a sign that she's in there and because uh, something can always happen to that queen and uh, and, it, and it can be more difficult then and but with these splits this technique works very well we'll cover that another day with the maybe we'll do a a video on larger colonies and how to correct it. Um, I've tried with larger colonies to uh, different strategies. Some people will shake all the bees out in the field, and if the laying worker workers have was born in the colony, they won't know how to return. Uh, sometimes that works. Sometimes it don't. Uh, Put in your comments what you all do to fix this issue. But with this, these smaller colonies, this works very well. I've also just introduced uh, queen cells to those colonies like that, and that works very well. A lot of times they'll, uh, they'll, they'll accept that uh, queen cell and that... Uh, newly hatched queen over those laying workers uh, sometimes what I'll do I'll just uh, instead of losing all those bees I'll even take some of those frames and distribute them uh, put them in different colonies you know because if you put one frame of bees in a, a larger colony there it's not gonna hurt your queen uh, it's gonna be overwhelmed by a larger population so you can use those resources out I've done that a lot so at least that way you don't end up losing because what will happen you'll have nothing but drones that can't reproduce they'll finally die off and then next thing you know you're infested with hive beetles or wax moths and that's usually what happens to the colony it eventually just dies because uh, they're gonna have nothing but drones the drones are going to die eventually and then it leaves you with nothing so you can, you can uh, take those frames and put them in other colonies. Um, and if they're, if they're uh, excessively filled with drones, you can shake them off, shake them off, and put them in your other colony. That works well, too. Now, look, like I said, everyone has different techniques on how they do things. And this has always worked very well for me. Um, Usually when I put a video out like that, and, and, and I and I like the other comments, but just remember, uh, your way is not always the only way. 
and my way is not only the the only way so remember that everybody's got different strategies different ways that they uh care for bees it's just there's so many different techniques techniques and how you've learned things uh i've not come across the queen and trying to film i may have missed her the drone population has definitely reduced I'm seeing all single eggs in the cells. I've not seen any multiple eggs at all. So we got a queen in there somewhere. I, I wish I could have found her so I could have pointed her out. But I've not come across her, so I can't do that. Unless I get lucky on this side here and see her. It's looking good. Well, it worked. It worked again. And I continue to do this technique. You might try it and for yourself and see how it works. Uh, the, the biggest thing is with, with colonies is, is nip it in the bud. Stop it before it gets over, before it gets out of hand. Uh, get, in, get in your colonies regularly. Look for eggs in the brood chamber. Make sure you got eggs, make sure you got a laying queen. If you don't, correct it early. Because if you correct it early, uh, you got a better chance of them accepting the queen and not giving them a chance for laying workers to develop. So, so just a little technique from Barnyard Beast. Thought I'd film that today because I told you I would uh, uh, come back and make this video. Um, I'm not going to film the, the the little colony up there today that I showed you that where I left the, the frame out. Um, I'll do that on another video, but uh, kind of watch out for that. That'll probably be my, uh, it, if it's, it should be my next video. So we're keeping an eye on that. It's looking good. It's looking a little different. So I'll cover that on the next video. And don't forget, folks, please help share our videos. Please pass them around. Share them on uh, Facebook, YouTube wherever you can just help us uh, spread out our videos like and subscribe thanks for watching barnyard beasts